Welcome to the demo movie for creating hoof trim protocols and action lists in your management program. We will be going through creating the protocol, adding it to an action list so you can see which cows need trim, and the data entry for how to remove those cows from the list. Starting with creating the protocol, that's an action scheduler found in the management menu on your herd data action scheduler and number four, the action scheduler specific item. You can also find that using the search bar in the top left. For this example, I've created a couple of actions focusing on the 90 day trim. We choose the triggering event, in this case, cow calendar, because it will be the calving date. The statuses of animals I'd like to include, and likewise those I do not want to include, such as do not breed cows. And if you require more advanced filters for this protocol, the advanced button in the lower left does offer further options. We choose the trigger date, being last calving, 90 days in milk after. And finally, we choose a third option so that the animal remains on the list for a specified number of days or until we enter in a treatment that takes them off of the list. So in this case, the maximum number of days is 60, and the treatment that can take them off the list is hoof trim. So whichever comes first is what takes the cow off the list. This registration period is if a hoof trim treatment has been given to a cow within 60 days of the expected planned action, being 90 days in milk, then we won't trigger again for another trim at 90. So say, for example, she got trimmed at 80 days in milk because of an as-needed case, we would not trigger for another hoof trim at 90 days in milk. Looking at these actions on an action list, your herdsman's action list will be the best resource to view these actions. I'll show how I've created a preset specific to hoof trims, which is accessible from the shortcut at the top of the screen. The properties of this screen is where you can choose how many days ahead of your planned trigger for the event you'd like to see animals, when they're considered to be past due for an event, and I'm trimming once a month, so I've set that to 30. And in the action scheduler tab is where we can select which actions we want to have on the action list. Very important to note, you save your changes to the preset that you'd like before clicking OK. Now how to tell the system we have done these trims and we can remove them from the list. That means we need to apply a hoof trimming treatment to the animals which we have trimmed. You can access the data entry screen directly from the herdsman's action list or there's a shortcut usually in the upper left corner of your toolbar. For this example, we'll go right from the action list using health batch entry. Here I can either insert my hoof trimming treatment with a simple cow number enter, cow number enter approach to cow selection, or I can choose which trimming event I trimmed animals for today. Still focusing on our 90 days in milk trim. Now the list automatically selects all of the animals that are on my action list due for a 90 day trim. So in this example, let's say I did all of them but that cow. The next screen, we select the treatment that we are entering. And here the logic of the program already knows the hoof trimming event is the one that takes them off of the list for this action. So it's pre-selected there. Simply moving the dot to finished applies the treatments to the six animals that I had selected. And once I click OK here, you can see those six animals disappear from my list. I hope this has been helpful in creating hoof trims, viewing hoof trim protocols, and entering hoof trims in the system. If you have questions, please contact the help desk.